There are a wide variety of pathogens that can be present in water due to fecal contamination. Laboratories test for a variety of pathogenic microorganisms, including Escherichia coli, Enterococcus, Cryptosporidium, and Giardia. How do we detect these dangerous disease-causing organisms? Scientists look for indicator organisms present in a contaminated water sample. The presence of these indicator organisms in a sample is a red flag that points to the presence of fecal matter in the water. To explain this further, let's take a look at what is happening at the micro level. A water sample may have many different bacteria and organic materials present. Infectious pathogens can hide in this mix, but often in smaller numbers that make them hard to detect. These pathogens can also pose health risks to lab technicians who perform the testing. For these reasons, the bacterial indicator concept was developed. In the event of fecal contamination, non-pathogenic or non-infectious enteric bacteria that are normally present in the intestines of warm-blooded animals, including humans, will be present in very high numbers. These bacteria include non-pathogenic E. coli, thermotolerant coliforms, and enterococci. To help understand this, think of the concept of a smoke detector looking for signs of fire by sensing chemical particulates in the air that may indicate a fire is present or imminent instead of detecting the fire directly. To summarize, indicator bacteria are chosen because in a fecal contaminated sample, they are present in high numbers, enteric, found in the intestines of animals and usually do not naturally occur in the environment, able to survive better in water than infectious pathogens, making them more robust and thus easier to test for and safer to handle. Want to learn more about testing for waterborne pathogens? Have more questions? Contact us at water at idex.com to get in touch with an IDEX representative.